Hey everybody, welcome back to another video on Casey and Caleb's channel. Um, today I'm doing something special. I'm doing a, a survival world. So just something a little bit different than usual because I was bored, you know? And uh, I actually had some recording issues, audio. I recorded this first whole episode before, but microphone stopped working. So I'm just going to have to give you a little rundown. Well, everything has happened so far. I didn't get too far, though. I'll show you some clips on the screen right now. So, I'll show you real quick. This is my spawn point. Spawn right here, look around. I'm like, oh, this is awesome. I found this village over here, and I'm like, see, oh, this whole area is surrounded by savannah. And there's also shattered savannah over there, and there's also a desert that way. It's pretty big. Um, I made a map, so that that's pretty good. And I decided to move my base on top of this hill overlooking the village. And before I moved on to this hill and all my stuff, I had been originally right next to the village, just kind of using their supplies and mining the caves out in the area. And then I decided I wanted to move back to the basic spawn point. So um, I cleared out some trees. And I am starting to build a house. And that's where I am now. I am on day three, it said. I assume this is night three. So I'm going to be sleeping right now. And I will start working on a house. I'm going to keep this layer of grass right here. Although I am low on wood supplies. Well, I mean, other than that. I mean, I need to get more cobblestone. I mean, Probably so I can make more furnaces. And, oh, hello. And, um, trying to get a proper farm. I don't want to really live off the villagers too much. I have also decided that I will keep this large tree here, and then there will be a path going up the hill all the way down here, and it will connect up with this path over here towards the village. So I did set up a couple beds because there weren't a lot of villagers and I'm hoping they'll repopulate. Uh, I grabbed some melons, wheat, uh, just basically explored this, grabbing some things. Um, yeah, there really aren't a lot of villagers. Iron Golem's still around, I didn't kill them. So, also took a little look at those mountains over there, they were really cool. It's probably my favorite biome. So yeah, and I also don't have a shovel, so that's a bit of an issue. So I'm gonna have to go mining again, get some more cobblestones that we'll be able to build. Uh, but so yeah, I don't have a plan yet of what the building would look like. I just have to tinker around, see what, see what I can do. You know, I'm so since this is the world spawn point, and if I didn't have a bed set, I would spawn right there. So I kind of don't want to build on top of it. Oh, what? Uh, oh dear, no! <laughs> Please go away! No! Oh. oh dear, I got a crit him. Oh, that was scary. He almost blew up my chest. What I'm kind of thinking is I could build some pillars further out. And it would be over this spawn, so that way, and there could be some kind of patio here. So that way, when you spawn here, I could just run up the stairs because this is my original spawn point. And I know that because my compass keeps pointing this direction. And then this up here in the hill will be the main house. Okay, but before that happens, I need to take down this tree and then get some more materials. And I'll see you when I'm back, or while I'm doing it. Okay, I found lots of iron in this in this area. This is actually a cave that's really close to my house. Or, my base, I should say. I'm hoping it will have a tunnel that leads close to Y11, so that way I can get diamonds. I'm gonna grab some more so I have enough for the foundation of the house. Yeah, I haven't done normal survival in a while. I've done a couple multiplayer ones. But that was with some help, so that'll be pretty interesting. It's not like I'm a noob at survival, I, I know how to survive. So, I've got half a stack of iron, this would be really good. A zombie. I wonder what that is, lava, maybe? 
Uh, no, it's uh, the torches. Okay, this is up here. Okay, and oh no, it's night time. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Oh no. What am I doing? I gotta run to the base as fast as possible. Okay, sleep. This is night four. I also like this spot because you can see the large uh, shattered savannah from here. Looks really nice. I'll keep this here. Might put a some kind of fancy light there eventually. Three. That'll do. Here. I want spruce wood, but I haven't found one yet. I need to go in a direction I haven't been. That's the only direction I've gone in, I'm pretty sure. Start a layout right now, and then call it a day. All right. These cows are driving me nuts. Go away. I'm building here. Thank you. This will go out farther. I think here we would have a break for a stairway. Bring it over and I'll probably have it line up with this. Okay, that used up a lot of wood so far. Why am I making this so complicated for myself? I'm just putting these in terrible my things in terrible spots. Well, I'll have to sleep first. And this out. And then this. Break that. You know what? I figured it out. This would be a slant roof, not, not a balcony. Get a flooring in. And done. There's the flooring. Something coming out here. Now, okay, I'm gonna have to chop down some more trees. I'm gonna be destroying this forest around me. But don't worry, I guys, I have saplings. I will replant. I want a forest around here. This is the only forest in here surrounded. Okay, never mind. There's one right there. just woke up it is now day seven and I have completed the layout of my house here will be the balcony here will be a slanted roof and here's also a patio sort of though it's not there yet I can't exactly see it too well but that'll be it for this episode episode one of my survival and I hope you guys enjoy and look forward to the next episode. I certainly am. Alright, so see ya. Thanks for watching.